Hello, welcome to this new tutorial. Uh, today we are going to see the just launch uh, Cloud Desktop Extensions. What is that? How to install it? And we may even call someone. Okay, so the extensions, uh, also called uh, DXT, uh, that's the the file format, I be are basically just like MCP, uh, compressed MCP, you may say and it's like an mcp installer okay and the, the idea is that you can install mcp servers to for example cloud desktop or cloud uh, coder or um, even cursor uh, with just one click or two clicks in this case just as you would install any other software because we know uh, until now if we are here in cloud desktop, if we wanted to install uh, MCPs, we have to do it like from here, developer, and we have to uh, modify the cloud desktop configuration JSON, yeah? And here, he <laughs> had to pay uh, to paste the different servers and all the commands. I don't know, is, is this going to load or not? I mean, it, it has never been a smooth process, isn't it? And, uh, oh God. Well, you may say it has never been really, really easy to do. And the idea is that everyone can install a server with just a uh, double click in it. I'm so sorry, don't know when. This is one of the problems with the JSONs with, is something like this. We all know MCPs work like this. So you install it, you paste it. Uh, you go, for example, I don't know, to Smith3. And uh, yeah, you just, need to install and for example this is the search one and we could install it with a command or even uh, paste in the the json yeah so for the extensions is a bit a little bit different how is it well we come here and we have in cloud uh, you go to settings some some uh, computers may need to enable the developer tools it's okay and here we have a new tab called extensions, okay? So just, uh, if you don't see it, just update the cloud. You can update cloud desktop here. And here we will see the extensions. There are some uh, pre-built ones, uh, like for example, Chrome for uh, browser automation, file system notes. So we are going to see, for example, how to install that iMessage one. And uh, this one, I got it from the this is the the official Anthropix DXT repo. You see only 30 forks. <laughs> when you are watching this video, I guess will be a few more. Okay, so basically here it comes with some uh, example ones. Okay, so I've yeah I've just cloned this repo. We can just clone it. Okay, so we can clone it, and you can get for example the. Uh, you have hello world node file manager python and chrome uh, apple script okay so i have another one i have the imessage one for example you can see it here uh, yeah okay so i have basically uh, yeah yeah i have uh, one basically we have a folder with these two folders okay so this is the iMessage one uh, it has the you know the structure of a normal uh, standard uh, M MCP with the different that uh, it needs a manifest yes if it was a Chrome extension for example and the package JSON and even some icon I mean it's, it's, it's quite cool and the key thing is that it includes uh, you know it includes the dependencies so you can see here the node modules that are well the node dependencies so uh it is like uh a, uh you may call it a self-contained uh mcp okay and this is the ampex dxt okay how did i get that okay so i uh okay we get here uh, Okay, and uh, this is the installer. How did I get it? I'm just going to get rid of this, okay? Uh, let me ask it. Uh, one. 
okay so we have this uh, sorry okay so f uh, this is the structure I have you know I have it from the uh, the official repo and here I just uh, run this you can install uh, DXT uh, with node with this command and uh, MP and PM install global anthropic AI slash this XT and then uh, we can convert any MCP actually we have even here the prompt we can give it a try later <laughs> but basically just need to run this thing so it <coughs> basically it's just getting MCP adding a manifest and uh, we can run the DXT pack as you see here okay you see and it created uh, a DXT okay I think you will feel better in the yeah okay let's go open this a ver, okay so we have it here as you can see this is the iMessage one okay and uh, this is the DXT we just created so if we double click it we have uh, yeah you can double click and you see we have uh, the extension that just comes here and is ready for install is much easier than uh, MCP uh, it can be you know uh, they, they, well, they actually say it's multi, um, uh, multi-platform. I don't really know. For example, this one is going to be run on Windows. I guess it, it will get, uh, yeah, it will get a, bit, a little bit mature later. Okay. So we we see here that just with uh, install. Okay, this is from the MCPs. Has nothing to do with here. We have already installed it in one click. So. That means that if we go to extensions, yeah, we have the fourth, uh, the fourth extension here. Okay, we could uh, also install it like this in advanced settings. I mean, it reminds me a lot of uh, Google Chrome extensions because even the install unpacked or the yeah, they are quite, quite <coughs> similar. Okay, so here we have in cloud, uh, this is cloud uh, desktop uh, main configuration folder. And here we have the extensions, okay? So, well, this is the unpacked ones, once they are installed. That means that uh, each extension you install, you actually uh, get access to the source code. That is quite a nice thing. And it's quite, I mean, it's common with Google Chrome extensions. So we could have also like, uh, install it for example let's say we want to install the, the notes one I don't know I'm going just to, to move it out from here I mean if we want to ins uninstall it we just have to remove it from here okay and uh, I guess that if we uh, yeah if we run again this yeah we have to just I mean, this the new Macintosh is really so slow. I don't really know why. Uh, yeah. Okay, so here we have uh, a relaunch uh, cloud desktop, and if we come here, yeah, we don't have the the notes one. At least we don't have it installed. So we could also install it, uh, even if uh, without creating the DXT installer, we can dragging a dxt here but even if we don't have it we can just install unpacked and i guess that if we uh yeah uh, sorry about that uh, i'm sorry yeah yeah new tutorials dxt extensions uh, if we choose like the nodes one, for example, this one, we can install it without the DXT, just like that, and yeah, it will get installed. We can enable it here, and actually, I mean, it, it is just an M MCP server here. Even it, it writes 
which uh, command it has and the tools and everything and then I guess we can uh, yeah you can just use it from the yeah, from the extension here as you can see it is rendered just as any other MCP for example in this case yeah here we have them for example this is the nodes one list nodes get add a node let's for example let's try it out uh, for example node with create a node with almost a, for example get let's get the the prompt this is the prompt for creating extensions let's try it out node with following let's try it out Uh, this is txt uh, dst <coughs> okay we got that Uh, yeah, I'm when well, I, I will say yes an, a note uh, a note I'm just going to write that because I have too many MCP so I mean this way is I mean without it I guess it would have worked anyway but why not yeah let's try it I mean it's a bit confusing the fact that I don't know you guys you have realized or not but right now we have been three ways of installing MCPs you can install it uh, okay this is the thing I was a bit afraid of okay just use the notes okay I didn't this is following it itself I am so sorry Yeah, I mean, I, I should have done that. It was a bit lazy. Yeah, with that, we can just try it. I was saying that we have... Uh, okay. This, this seems to be working. I mean, it's like any other MCP, you can say. Okay. And it has gotten it right. Okay. Okay, this is the, the key time because it needs control. Okay. We are going to allow it. Why not? And now I guess the notes. I have never tried it really, but uh, yeah, it's, it's easy to, to to guess. It will just open it. Okay, but anyway, uh, I was saying that at this time we have even three times, uh, three kinds of uh, installation processes for the MCPs. We have the one we said uh, here, cloud settings developer with the uh, uh, the JSON here. We have the extensions the ones that we have seen today and we even have this so uh, i mean they are i guess they, they they will merge them someday no no not really uh not really late i guess sooner than later we even have we even have these right uh, what is called integrations so integrations is also a kind of mcp i mean integrations is only for the remote mcps so the idea is that you just get a remote MCP here. I, for example, all the, I mean, I, I love Smithery. So all the Smithery ones we can get, for example, okay, sorry. Let's get, for example, one of my MCPs, good MCPs. The, yeah, I mean, for example, the, this the the Buddha the automated UE debugger 
and we all know that we can uh, install it as we say from json this is the uh, mcp we as saw in settings the other one and we can install it also with this http okay we get it you get the link good and this is the last kind of installation that is called an integration yeah i think i already have it over here uh yeah i have it over there is this one but basically i mean we can get rid of it you see and yeah i mean the integrations are are quite nice okay so we have these three kinds of uh mcp installation processes uh yeah sometimes cloud desktop is just crazy a ver. Late. this one is nice you should give it a try for the uh, many times like when programming some buttons are not working and you know we need this kind of debugging loop that it tests all the buttons and it fixes the code and tests again i mean it saves a lot of time i really recommend it okay so we was we were checking out the last kind of installation the integrations one that i was saying is just for remote mcps okay okay so for example this visual oh, yeah. and you can install it it won't allow me i guess because i ah, know I, I removed it and uh, we just connect it and actually we have it just like this and we have it installed just like this the only difference is that it loads the small image okay and we we have it installed uh, there it needs to reload and and there is um okay so if we want to try the the prompt for creating a dxt uh we can give it a try let's try it on the next video okay so thank you very much and uh, uh thank you for following my my channel and let's keep it up